Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to debloat Windows 11 23H2. Did you know Windows 11 23H2 ISO file is the largest Windows ISO file that we have seen so far? It's over 6.2 gigabytes. Now let's debloat it. First, I'm going to use the quick and easy method to debloat this. Let's see if it still works. So if you don't know what that is, you'll know. Just stay with me. This trick was discovered by Theo Joe, um, a really popular tech YouTuber. So basically when you're in setup page, change time and currency format to English world. This used to work in previous Windows versions. Let's see if this thing still works with the Windows 11 23H2. Using this method, you can also use a local account. As you know, to install Windows 11, you need a Microsoft account. But if you use this method to install it, uh, you can actually use uh, a local account. You don't necessarily need a Microsoft account. If you see that your Windows install is stuck here and it doesn't give you any option, don't worry. Actually, the Windows install is confused because we changed the time and currency format, so it doesn't know what to do. Uh, it will take some time to get out of this situation. And actually, as we are talking, it got out of this situation. <laughs> it says something went wrong. So basically, it's not an error. Uh, we changed the time and currency format to World English. So when you do that, this is what happens. So basically in here, you don't hit the try again button. You just hit the skip button and then it will go to the next step. Now, this is really important. When you reach to this page, it will give you two options set up for personal use and set up for work or school. If you want to use Microsoft account, go for the first option it will give you the sign in option and you can sign in with the microsoft account but if you want to use a local account you can click on sign in options but it won't give you the uh, local account option so basically in that case if you want to use local account click on the second option set up for work or school and click next and then sign in options select that and in here you'll see a uh, option called domain join instead so once you click on that it will actually allow you to um, create a local account you can also go passwordless if you don't like to use password i'm gonna do that actually yeah let's use it without a password and we are almost done here and look at that it still works we have a completely clean windows 11 23 h2 install so next time when you're installing windows 11 try to use this trick this will give you a clean windows 11 install now i am actually going to deep load this even further because there are some apps that i don't really use first we need to fix something because after you do this you won't be able to use microsoft store and some other features because it says that it's not available in your country or region so go to the time and date settings and uh, you'll see a region option click on that it is set to world so basically you change this to wherever you live so i'm going to change it to let's say united states now if i open microsoft store it will work and guess what one more just extra tip for you guys you don't actually have to sign in into microsoft store to download apps and games so you can actually get them uh, without signing in so let's say i wanna download a roblox game why not let's click on get and you can see it's downloading and i'm not signed in this is great for those people who don't want to use microsoft account now i'm going to use this app to deep load our windows 11 23 h2 even further this is called bloaty nosy this app is made by the same guy who made the this is win 11 deep loader so this is win 11 uh, deep loader was actually really popular uh, you know windows 11 deep loader so basically bloaty nosy is the upgraded version of this is win 11 all right so this is the official github page for bloaty nosy so basically go to the releases 
and download whatever latest version there is so i'm gonna actually download the setup version let's install it yeah look at that now we have new icon in our desktop so it's called blotinozy app let's run it so you can see it actually gives you list of different things uh, that you can customize remove like you can see browser option you can see we we can even disable some in browser uh, settings like ai chat button some file explorer settings some desktop settings some taskbar some uh, start menu settings system settings gaming settings all right so you can see even the privacy settings can be changed with this application you can also uncheck them if you want to enable or disable something that you don't like so you can see it will disable diagnostic data and many other things all right uh, it's under the privacy and at the bottom you can see we have a bloatware option and it will basically automatically remove uh, pre-installed apps so let's actually do that i'm gonna click on fix and i'm gonna apply fixes let's do that now let's check on the uh, apps section let's see what they removed all right so you can see a lot of the things are actually gone some of the apps are still here like your phone app i don't think you can uninstall it no we cannot but you can see uh, the onedrive is gone yeah onedrive yeah it's it's gone <laughs> so some of the apps actually can be uninstalled by user like mail and cal calendar app you don't if you don't use it i'm just gonna uninstall it and the movies and tvs i don't use it all right and uh, rest i think i use all of them almost everything under apply fixes option there is an option called restore default state so basically if you want to undo anything that bloaty nosy did yeah you can also undo that or you can also click on assistant use assistant it will give you a tutorial on how to customize plus how to make windows 11 better you can directly go to the settings by clicking on these links and yeah look at that so keep going next and whatever it suggests you can change that you can also click on analyze and you can see it didn't detect any problems or it didn't detect anything that needs to be changed you can see it has found one feature that can be disabled so i'm gonna click on the link above and i'm gonna scroll down and it's under the desktop and it is the uninstall widgets feature so just in case if you don't use widgets feature just like me yeah click on fix apply fixes and wait for it i think uh, for now you can't uninstall widgets using this uh let's let's try to do that again apply fixes oh got an error again i don't know why but for now it looks like i cannot uninstall widgets app but you can see most of the things are completely gone actually let's use the another uh, windows debloater that i really like it is called Windows, and you can get it from the uh, microsoft store all right it is downloaded let's open it up i'm gonna go to the apps option yeah i don't use the your phone app so i'm gonna uninstall it and it did nice you can even uninstall microsoft store if you don't use it i mean i can just uninstall it yeah uh, it's completely gone <laughs> microsoft store yep it's gone it's gone forever and be careful when you uninstall these uh, apps because you can literally uninstall almost everything so make sure not to uninstall system apps so this Wintoy app is actually a really powerful tool it can uninstall apps you can disable services you can change some system settings to improve the performance and you can fix uh, some issues like you can repair like blue screens freezes crashes and all that uh, using this tool this tool actually uses a windows settings and features itself to do all the things so it's uh, actually one of the safest tool to use uh, to debloat plus uh, optimize the windows 
And I think that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And yes, it is still possible to debloat Windows 11 23H2 even without any third party tools. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.